What up, everybody? Welcome back once again to a brand new video discussing a brand new part. Uh, today, Jeff, what are we talking about today? Our top mounted oil coolers. Sweet. So, uh, you heard that right. We are now offering a top mount option for our oil cooler. I think something to quickly go over uh, in case we've got some new people in the area here. What is the purpose of an oil cooler uh, other than the pretty self-explanatory uh, process oh, of cooling wow. your oil? Um, but then maybe also briefly why you might want to upgrade from the factory one to an aftermarket oil cooler. Um, all of the turbo cars come with this factory oil cooler slash warmer. All it does is pass coolant through this. So whatever your coolant temp is, your oil temp is, or hotter. And under high horsepower, racing, anything that you're under a lot of load for a long period of time, the oil temps go way up, 250 easily. Oil temp, or high oil temps break down the oil, lower viscosity, less protection. You want an oil cooler that's separate from this thing and to get rid of that to keep your oil temps in check. Sure. Uh, we do have another video going over engine oil coolers in general. So if you want to find out even more information, uh, check out that video right up here. That'll go over so much more information. Something that's super cool about our top mount that's a first for us are our check valves. Yeah, in order for the top mount to function properly, there must be check valve installed. So all of the volume of oil in this does not drain down to the engine. The problem with that is if you uh, we're filling up your engine oil, you might underfill it or overfill it depending on where the oil is and all this. So okay. this solves that problem. You fill it up like normal, you top it off like normal, nothing to worry about. The check valves in here are really special high flow check valves that uh, are meant for racing applications. This will probably be a, a big question. Uh, what are the differences between our current oil cooler option that we have and uh, I guess you could say our a standard oil cooler and now our top mount. Um, on the standard ones that are mounted in front of the car, they have very long hoses. Mm -hmm. So um, the oil to travel a lot further, um, complicated install, you have to take the bumper off. Um, and also whenever you install a bigger inner cooler that might go in front of it, you are blocking some of the effectiveness of it because oh, it's sure. mounted behind it. Um, so the top mount oil cooler moves the cooler and utilizes the factory hood scoop. So you can use fresh air from outside right going through it, it cools it much better. Um, and the other benefit is the hoses are a lot shorter, so. Um, Significantly, yeah. I mean, you can see just on the table. I don't even think the uh, hoses from the standard one would no, fit on they're the twice table. As, they're twice as long. <laughs> you know. um, so that's the thing is it's moved to utilize your hood scoop and actually make it functional again. Sure. And it's it's specifically for cars with front mount intercoolers. It's not for cars with top mounts. Clearly this goes right where the top mount goes. Um, so sorry top mount people just get a front mount and that'll solve your problem. Um, but when you buy a front mount your hood scoop becomes useless so this makes it useful again. Sure. Um, and the install for it is really, like, you do not have to take the bumper off. The install for this could be, you know, an hour job versus a two to three hour job for the other one. So cool. that's a huge benefit. Like you said, it's not going to work if you have a top mount intercooler. So if you don't have our top mount intercooler, great time to get a front mount. Um, get a lot more power and more bang for your buck out of your car there. Uh, but then you can get the top mount oil cooler and be sitting pretty, so to speak. It does look cool, too. And it does I agree. It, it looks really great on the car. Um, I, actually, that's, that's probably a good thing to go over. So it doesn't work with a top mount intercooler. Uh, and because it is being mounted on the top, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say you're going to have to have a strut bar for this to mount, too. Yep. So required part to install this is a strut bar. Um, Ours, of course, fits, but there are others that use the same diameter as ours where uh, this would still clamp to it and still work. Um, but a strut bar is required for the install. Cool. A lot of customers that are at this level already have that, so it's I really say, I'd say most people probably already have a strut bar. Uh, if not, um, 
I don't know. Add that to Get your one. add that to your shopping list as well. You got a you got a big list to make, I guess. So we've had our standard oil cooler kit for quite some time now. Uh, we've also released some additions to options that we have. If I already have a standard oil cooler, can I upgrade to the top mount if I want to? Definitely. So we have a kit that includes the two hoses, mounting brackets for it, and a new. Um, uh, thermostat spacer that allows it to work so you can reuse your oil cooler and uh, it's perfect for it you know speaking of <sighs> oh yeah hey we got that Perfect. i think we got one hanging around here so this you just mentioned the thermostat spacer yep this is brand new for the top mount oil cooler yep and on this because it's taller we can put ports for extra sensors on there um, so all those come with an adapter that's got the extra ports. We all know it's going to look great, but what are some of the performance benefits and maybe some major ones that we might see? Uh, maybe just a generalization from upgrading, but also from going from our standard to our top mount. Um, there's less pressure loss because the lines are shorter. Okay. Um, the other thing is because it gets perfect ambient airflow through it, um, it does a better job of cooling the oil than the standard ones that are mounted into the front of the car. Um, so that's a big reason. It really do, it does work better um, that way. This is only for the 2015 plus WRXs. Okay. It's not for the EJ powered cars. Uh, as time goes by, we might offer them for that. Um, the hose lengths for those are even longer. It does have some benefits, but at some point we might have that if enough people ask. One more thing. On our previous oil coolers, we would get lots of calls about where does the hose go? Does it matter which one goes where? Oh. And we, it does not matter on those kits. On this kit, it matters. Okay. <laughs> so we actually have the instructions that there is a left and a right specific. Um, and it has to do with the ins and outs and the check valves and, and whatnot. So. All right. Well, that wraps up today's video for our top mount oil cooler. Uh, I want to touch on one thing, though. We appreciate all of you out there watching our videos. Uh, we know we've been a little slow, but we've been pushing out a lot more content lately, and we hope to keep the ball rolling. Um, I don't know about you. It feels good to me that we're yeah. making all these videos. Talking to our customers. Talking to our customers. That's probably one of the most important things that we're able to do or the best things we can do with making these. However, looking at this chart right here um uh, over 80 percent of you guys are not subscribed to our channel so as much as we appreciate the views we'd really appreciate if you could slap the subscribe button so to say uh, that would really help us out but i will keep things uh, short here if you like this video y'all know what to do